So what is the molecular mass of iron 2 hydroxide? Simple process, I created a nice little table. Watch how quick this is. Bam, so the first step we're gonna do is write down the elements we see in the compound. So we have iron Fe, we have oxygen O, and we have hydrogen H. Then we're gonna write down the number of atoms, that's where the subscripts come in, into play. And if there's no subscript down there, there is assumed to be a one, and therefore there's one iron. There's also one oxygen here. Uh, however, oxygen is part of the polyatomic anion hydroxide, and you have two of them. And therefore, you have two oxygens. What you can do is simply take this subscript and multiply it by the outer subscript. So inner subscript times outer subscript. So you got two oxygens. Same thing for hydrogen. Inner subscript times the outer subscript. So you got two hydrogens. Uh, I'm not sure if I said two hydrogens here, but two oxygens and two hydrogens. Anyway, um, you're going to take those number of atoms and then multiply it by the mass of each particular element. Those masses are found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. Iron's mass is 55.85. Oxygen is 16. Hydrogen is 1.01. .01. So we're going to write them in. So 55.85, oxygen is going to be 16, and then hydrogen is 1.01. .01. To find then the total mass of each particular element in the compound here, all we simply have to do is multiply this row on a cross. So the total mass of iron is going to be 55.85. Total mass of oxygen here is going to be 32. And then hydrogen is going to be 2.02. .02. All right. And then to find the total mass of the compound, just simply add this column on up. How easy peasy is that, right? So it's going to be 89.87. And since we're solving for molecular mass, the units here are in terms of AMU, aka atomic mass units. That's all there is to it. Now you know how to find the molecular mass of iron to hydroxide. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.